last over of the innings. And it's bowling. Ajit Agarkar gets the reward for some very accurate bowling. As you said early, 18 balls and sure he's going to get a standing ovation. Great ball. Perfect Yorker. Well played well bowled. The crowd appreciated. Definitely was given. It's scooped up in the air. Mohamed Kev should take it. Comfortably he does. It's not the first catch he's taken. Certainly a simpler one. So Ajit Agarkar gets his third wicket. Yeah, another slow ball. Stands up on Bevan. Sits up. And that's the best he can do with it. Keith does it easily. Bevan out for 42. Now 283 for 6. Although the damage may have already been done. 285 is a very good total on a surface like this. You can see there it's a dust ball. And the Australians have uh, included a batsman who can bowl some left arm spin for that very reason. Bickle looking for a big shot. Sachin Tendulkar quickly on the ball. This could be an easy run out. I think the batsman is struggling here. Malander has asked for the TV replay and he just gives a nod to suggest that it might just be useless to go for that verdict. The Indians believe they've got another wicket. And look, it doesn't have to throw this very far, less than 30 metres. Good bounce rate, good thinking. Michael Clark not in the frame at the moment, and that will be out. A disappointing end, but um, this time of the innings, wickets need to be sacrificed. Every run counts, he's gone for two, 286 for seven. Brad Hogg has walked in, and I hope he's wearing some good running shoes because that's all he needs to do, he's gone. What an over this is for Ajit Agarkar. He's finished with four wickets. Where all his uh, other colleagues with the ball have suffered. He's uh, going to return to the dressing room with remarkable figures. But factors, 50 overs have been bowled on the dot. The time of six. And Australia have ended up with 286 for eight. And this is the eighth wicket. Another.